So I've had this module waiting around for quite some time. I think I might have even bought this in 2020. Didn't get around to doing anything with it yet. And what this is, is uh, well, you can see that there's these eight seven segment displays. So it's a display unit. Um, but it's also got eight discrete LEDs across the top and it has eight buttons on it. So uh, this is a five volt unit. So, um, so I'm going to try it on an Arduino clone today. Uh, I'd quite like to get this working with the um, with the micro bit as well, but that will that will wait till another day, I think. Because um, the micro bit is a, a three volt unit, so I would need a bit more ele electronics to do that. But let's just try this today. I know that there are uh, several libraries available to drive this type of display. Um, so we can have a look at that. And the chip on this one is is the TM1638. So all the magic to scan these buttons and drive these displays is in this uh, 1638. And you can drive it just with these three pins here. So uh, strobe, clock and DIO, data IO. So you just need three pins connected to the Arduino to, um, to make this work. So I'll connect this up to this. So this is an Arduino Arduino clone, a clone of Mega in fact. I I um I featured this in an earlier video which I'll, I'll put a link up here if you want to have a look at that. But it's quite nice because it's very small compared to a normal Arduino, much much smaller than the the Mega. Uh, and you got all of all of the pins exposed to this double row of uh, header pins. So I'll connect it up and this will provide the 5 volt power for this and I'll, we'll also have the three strobe lines. Um, and I'll, I'll include the wiring diagram here so that you can replicate if you want to. So you see I've connected those three uh, data lines to these um, data pins on the Mega. So this is D46, 44 and 42. So those are the magic numbers that I will need to put in the script. Um, and you can see that the LEDs on here, which shows that I've got the power correct. So let's start up the Arduino um, Arduino environment, the IDE, and, um, and we can find a suitable library. So we have the Arduino IDE running here and what we'll do is we'll just install a, a library. So if I go to manage libraries that's just updating and we'll have a look for TM1638 Okay, so I quite like the idea of um, a light library, so a simple library. So I think I'll go for this one here. Uh, okay, so that's installed now. And if I go to examples. This should be one for a TM1638 now. There, there we go. So we'll, we'll pick, there's only the one, uh, the one supplied example demo. So we'll go with that. That can close that original window. Right, so first of all, I need to change these values because these pins, four, seven, and eight are different than the ones uh, that I'm going to use on my Mega. So this is strobe, clock and data. So on mine we want 46, 44 and 
because the the megas have got many many more IO ports than the, the basic Arduino. Okay, let's compile that then. There we go. So we've got something coming up on the display. I haven't haven't actually checked what this uh, what this code is meant to do, but let's have a look. So it's going to display some text. EH. Uh, so setting the cursor at one end of the display, I guess, and then sending U and P to 6 and 7 on the display. If I just reset that, so we've got A up. So that's that first bit. And then we've got display hex. So this is going to all of the indexes in turn 0 to 7 and writing the number 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. But this is in hexadecimal. So if we have a look at that, a up and then we have the hexadecimal readout 89 AB and so on the hex numbers and then finally it says display buttons and the loop is doing some kind of function to read the button so I guess if we press the button okay so when you press the button the matching LED is going to come on. Yeah, that's nice. And we can have a look at the code of the library as well. So if you if you click on the more information tab back in that uh, manage library screen it takes you to this um, GitHub site, which is where this uh, user, Dania or Dan JA, I'm not sure. Uh, this is where the code uh, is published. So we can have a look in the source here. And it really is quite a straightforward library, this one, because it's just got the two files. So the, the header file, that gives the definition of the various objects and the CPP file will be the implementation. So if we have a look in the header file, we can see that it creates this class TM1638 Lite. That's how you declare a particular module. Uh, there's some ASCII coding stuff there. And if we have a look in the implementation, uh, we can see how the 1638 class is defined. So importantly, you see that there are three parameters that are passed in. So remember when we created the object, we passed in our 46, 44, 42. So those become the strobe, the clock and the data. And this is um, storing them in these variables so that they can be referred to later. And it also calls this pin mode for each and switches each of those into an output which is needed so that you can actually change the level of that pin in the Arduino. And And so if, for, for example, if we have a look at display hex, which is used in our demo program, uh, so you pass in a position and a value here, and this in turn calls this display SS, I guess after translating the hex value using that table. This is the really the meat and potatoes of the, uh, uh, the code so if we looked at the data sheet, we'd find that there's a particular way to uh, to 
change these pins so that we can um, we can program the registers on the 1638. So you see that starts with setting the strobe pin low and then this shift out operation what this does is it takes the value that you've given it here and it shifts it out bit by bit onto the pin. So this is quite a convenient function because it allows you to convert from um, parallel to serial if you like and shift the pins out and um, so we so we shift out the uh, value so first of all the position and then we shift out the value that has to be written to that position on the display and then finally when the strobe goes high that's when the the chip um, will display the data that it's received so this is quite a nice um, you know simple example and because uh, some of the libraries can be quite complicated but this one's reasonably easy to follow what we can also do is if, if we look in the um, inside that Arduino libraries directory we can find the TM 1638 light so this is looking on my local machine now and so you can see the the actual uh, script that we um, that we started with where we changed these to our um, different pins on the mega uh, and we can see the source here so if we wanted to actually make changes to this module we could do that here with something like this is Visual Studio Code, the editor that I'm using. So we could go in here and we could we could change it. And then the next time we compile that example, this would all get rebuilt uh, with our changes uh, inside it. So, for example, one thing that we could do, um, I don't know why these are why these are global, but we could cut these out of here and instead put them inside the object the class definition uh, like so the formatting doesn't matter too much uh, so if we save that And we should still be able to refer to these uh, because they'll now be part of the object. So if I compile that again, there we go. So we now have a different version has been compiled and loaded into our Arduino. I mean, it doesn't change the function of it, but it feels more sort of C++ like to actually have these uh, as part of the class definition rather than as global variables. Anyway, uh, that's just a quick illustration of using this module and how how we can um, use existing libraries how we can change existing libraries on the Arduino